All right, let's get into the CSS background clip property. I'll show you a couple of cool things that we can do with that. So I have a paragraph here with a background image. I've set my text color to white so it shows up on the background. And I put a dotted border around it to uh, be able to talk about a couple of properties here. Um, now I've got the background color in addition to the background image. The background color, right now it's set to khaki. And if you look in between the dashed lines here, you'll be able to see there's little bits of the khaki showing through. The border itself is a medium gray. And so this color is showing through in between wherever there isn't a border. And that's default behavior. If I change this color to red, you'd see the red showing up all around here. And the reason I'm doing that is so we can look at what the background clip property does. All right, let's add the property in. So with background clip, by default, what it's doing is going to the padding box. I'm going to go to content box and we can see this is the size of the content area for this paragraph. The text goes right to the edge of that. That is the content box. If we change this to padding box, what we're doing is we're changing where the background is going to be rendered. That's what the background clip property does. It says, I want to cover the content and the padding for this. If I change this to border box, what it will do is it will come out underneath the border here as well. And there we can see the little blue down the side here. So it is sticking out here. Um, oh, sorry. Yes, it is sticking out this side because the image extends beyond this side. The background position property will let us change where the image is. So I can do center and it's going to shift it over. Now it's sticking out both sides like this. And we can do center, center, which will center it vertically and horizontally. Okay, so back, coming back to the background clip. So we have content box, padding box, and border box. Those three properties, great. They let us um, determine where the background image extends so we can put it behind the border. Now, most of the time, you're just going to have a solid border if you have a border at all. So it's going to end up like this. Um, the content and padding box, it's important to understand those. But there's one other cool thing. There's a new uh, value that's been added for background clip. And that is text. This is going to let the background only show through where there is text. Now you'll notice I've changed it here, but nothing is happening. Even if I save this, if I refresh, it's still showing up as the background for the whole thing. That's because it's not fully supported in the browsers. It's still considered to be an experimental property. But if we come in here and we say, WebKit background clip and set that to text as well. There we are. It no longer shows up as the background for the body. It's actually showing through the text, but the text has been set to color white. So I'm going to get rid of that and set this to transparent. So I removed white as the value. And there we are. With transparent set as the text color, now the background clip property is letting us have the image come through where the text is. And you can actually do a little bit of an inset property here. You can add a little bit of a uh, depth to the text. If you were to add a text shadow, and let's just do two pixels left and right and two pixel blur, and we'll do RGBA, we'll set it to white with let's say 50% alpha. There we are. So there's a little bit of a shadow and the shadow is being rendered where the text is as well. So it gives kind of an inset as if the text has been pressed in and there's the image being revealed through that. So a little bit of a, an extra thing that we can do with the background clip text property. Just make sure that you're adding the prefix version. So Moz and WebKit so that those will show up and the color of your text must be transparent. This text shadow, it's optional whether or not you want it there or not. And that's it.
that is the background clip property and some cool stuff that you can do with it. Hope you find that useful. As always, thanks for watching.